I have a hole in my sock. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bruno and Faye and welcome back to our channel. So you decided to buy your new skate or your first skate. Today we're going to talk about what happens at a skate fitting. First of all, let's discuss why would you even need a skate fitting? If you've been following our channel, you probably already know that we bought our first skates online because it was the middle of the pandemic and all the pro shops were closed. So that was the only way we had to buy. The skates turned out well and we're happy with our purchase. We did a lot of research, we, we did the correct measurements, we had the help of our coach, so everything turned out well. However, we've heard a lot of people had trouble buying skates online because of incorrect sizing. So if you're getting ready to buy your first skates and you decide to go the online route, keep in mind that the skate sizes are not the same as the street shoes and each brand has their own different measurements, so they may vary between the brands. So make sure you do your research and you learn how to properly measure your feet. Or better yet, go to a professional fitter. If you have a pro shop or a professional skate fitter available in your area and that's in your budget, that should definitely be your number one choice. That is going to save you a lot of time and the potential for a very expensive mistake. Unless you already know your brand and committed to a certain brand, it's better to choose a fitter or a pro shop that carries multiple different brands of skates the way you're not pushed into a specific brand that the fitter is associated with and have a variety of different brands to try on and choose from to see what works best for you. So where do you start? First of all, you gotta find a fitter. Pro shop doesn't necessarily equal a fitter and vice versa. So if you just Google a skate shop, it is not guaranteed that it has professional fitting services in it. It's like underground. The best way to go around it is to talk to your coach or to talk to other skaters at your rink. Usually somebody knows somebody and they're going to point you in the right direction. Once you find that information, just contact the fitter and schedule your appointment. At that point already, the fitter might ask you a few questions like your shoe size or in our case, we actually had to send a picture of our feet. Not awkward at all. So they have an idea of what to prepare for your visit. So let's talk about what to prepare for your appointment. Keep in mind, everybody's gonna pay attention to your feet, everybody's gonna look at your feet the whole time. So if there's something you're self-conscious about, make sure to address it before you go. Right. I don't think everyone has. I have a hole in my sock. <laughs> oh no. Take a shower, wear some nice clean socks and shoes that you can easily take off and put them back on a lot of times, because you will. <laughs> you're likely to go on the ice, so dress for skating. Make sure to bring several things with you. First of all, your current skates if you have them. If it's your first skates, don't worry about that. But if you're already skating, bring whatever you're skating in right now so that fitter can see what you're in and make the recommendation according to that. Another thing to bring with you is your skating socks. You can see my hands. <laughs> do I fit in with, do, do I check side with socks? Or yeah, no sock? so, so I would check with, with a sock because that's what you're going to be using. Okay. But you want to pre-roll them, right? Oh, so roll them up, yep. That's how you don't get runs in your stockings. I need to learn this. <laughs> Bruno's learning a lot about uh, nylon socks today. This. this is something I only see the girls with. Yes. <laughs> if you're planning to skate in different socks from what you're skating in now, bring both. In my case, for example, I used to skate in really thick, thick, thick socks because my skates always felt just a little bit loose and I felt the most comfortable with thicker socks. But I was looking to switch out of that and start skating in thinner socks. So I wanted to get skates that fit that new concept. So why don't we take this off and why don't you put your cotton sock on Okay. and we'll try it on with your cotton sock. At my fitting, I tried the skates on with the nylon socks that the fitter has provided, but ended up going with my own cotton socks that I kind of plan to start skating in. Funny thing is, I actually bought the nylon socks and I'm about to start skating with them every day. If you're buying your first skates and you're not sure yet which socks you're gonna wear, just bring a bunch of different ones, just make sure they're long. So now let's talk about what actually happens at the skate fitting appointment. So the first thing they're gonna do is measure your feet because when you're buying skates, it's not just about the shoe size, it's about the length of the foot, the width of the ball, and the width of the heel. There's a lot of different measurements. Well, they definitely should feel tighter than a sneaker, right? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yes, it shouldn't feel like a shoe or a slipper. 
So the padding is very comfortable. You want it to touch everywhere on your foot, but be like a nice hug. You're pretty even on your feet. Yeah. That's rare. That's rare? <laughs> it's a good it sign. Yeah. Yes. So what do you, you don't need custom boots. You usually exactly. do like, would you guys sell like one size, uh, like one foot of one size and one foot of the other? Usually not. Most people are within that half size. Oh, okay. So you don't normally have to uh -huh. do a split width. So one is just um, a little so you more. You just suffer. Right. right. Okay. <laughs> we try and fit uh, to the smaller foot to make sure that it's not too big, and that your foot's not sliding around. Uh -huh but that your larger foot isn't crunched toes. If you get into being more than a size different, then that's sometimes when you'd have to consider doing a custom boot. The fitter will likely ask you a lot of questions about your current skating level, about what you're working on, about your goals with skating, where you'd like to get, and what you're buying your skates for right now. So just be prepared to answer those questions and talk about the new elements you learned and what you're working on right now and where you're willing to get. That will help the fitter determine the best skate model for your goals. So the process is really going over what you're looking to do with your skating. Mm -hmm. So um, kind of how far have you gotten into your skating and what you're doing and lessons and anything like that. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing currently? So we're mainly focused on ice dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we tried to do a little bit of everything, but uh, I guess our main focus is going to be ice dancing. Mm -hmm. So you want a boot that has some good, you know, uh, knee bend mm -hmm. and not as much pressure on the tongs. Yeah, because right now we can't even point because our, our feet always look like this in the videos. <laughs> exactly. So you want a little bit of the lower. Yeah, part. exactly. Yeah, which lends you to the Adea boots, mm. really. Um, so that would be probably what I recommend. And because you're a man, if you wanted to get into a little bit of jumping as well, you're going to need a boot that can, that can hold up structurally too. A little stiffer. Yeah. So the flamenco might be a little bit too low of a back, which is their ice dance boot. Um, so that would put you more into the concerto. A common mistake for newer skaters is to look for best in the line. Or for the most expensive model. Keep in mind the skates that work for more experienced skaters might not work for beginners. The other thing is some brands tend to work better for people with narrow feet and some brands tend to work for people with wider feet. After you have tried on a few models that your fitter has suggested and picked the one that feels the most comfortable for you, the fitter will mold and adjust that skate to your foot. And then do you ever get some pain on the bottom of your foot too after a while? No, just on the, just on the side? Yeah, just on that's the side. Good. So that means it's very small. It's better. Yeah. So that's why we'll, we'll line this out, mm. see if that feels better. Otherwise, because you're like right away, exactly. Yeah, this is why going to a skate fitting is so cool, is not only you get the skates that work best for you, but you get them customized and adjusted for your specific feet. Once you've chosen your perfect boot and got it adjusted, comes the time to mount your blades. Blade Look at this on. beauty! Like... Look, the blade is on. Okay. Now's the time when you get to go on the ice. If you're purchasing blades together with your new boots, then the fitter will mount your new blades with your boots. If you're choosing to keep your current ones, then make sure to bring them with you so that the fitter can mount them on your new boots. After that, you will be taken to the ice, you will be asked to do a few very simple exercises, like just glide in a straight line on one foot and the other, try different edges if you're already doing them, and that will determine whether or not the blade has been adjusted perfectly for you. And the skate fitter will play around with it, moving back and forth, shimmy it about, until you got the perfect fit. Congratulations, you're done and you're ready to take your new skates home and go skating. Hopefully this video was helpful guys and if you're curious about our experience of buying figure skates online we also have a video about that. We'll put the link down in the description that you can check out. Or it's gonna pop up here. So if you still have any questions guys leave them down in the comments. We'll do our best to answer every question and to try and help as much as we can. Don't forget to subscribe guys we're still trying to get to 1000 subscribers. We're very close and we'll see you next week with the next video.